My name is Dev Jyoti. I did my PhD from SOAS at the University of London. I currently teach and do research on a variety of issues which talks about global development, environmental change, and also focusing on climate migration. So I have a very interesting relationship with India. My grandparents migrated from former East Pakistan before India's independence, 1947, uh, because that was the shortest route to come to the city of Shillong, which is just three hours from Silet. Um, and as you know, India has gra great relationship with Britain uh, through the kind of Laskars who came to UK from the late 18th, 19th century. Um, and I have kind of grown up in India in cities like Delhi, I've stayed, I've kind of I frequently visit Calcutta, uh, but my attachment uh, stays with the Northeast, where I have been born and brought up. I think I'm very, I'm really good at kind of convincing people um, how they should kind of take care of their environment. Uh, I'm good at kind of teaching people, uh, kind of helping people learn about things, about new issues, about new concepts. Um, and I've learned a lot during the campaign that I did in the last two months for the local assembly election as well as the parliamentary election. For me, democracy, the idea of multiculturalism, plural society, um, uh, cultural diversity is very important because they are the edifice of human civilization as we have grown over millennia and centuries. Um, and I think the other point that is very important for me is cosmopolitanism. And we don't see much of that in the European context. As we look at the historical past in Asia and Europe, uh, we would see the cosmopolitanism was the bedrock of keeping societies together. I'm very much concerned about what is happening currently in France and other European countries where there is a rise of right-wing populism and that needs to be really challenged and I think there are many political quarters like for example the Green Party for example is talking about radical transformative change in politics and for that matter other left-wing political parties and it's very important to foreground their voices otherwise people like Farage and other right-wing populist movements will gain ground and that will be a serious threat to our democracy. Coming back to the Indian political context, we have seen in the last election how people kind of franchised, and we have seen it in the past. If you look at the emergency period, the people come out and vote against the, uh, the government in power. So we have to really understand that India is a very diverse, multicultural, cosmopolitan society, and no political party can kind of legitimize itself as you know omnipresent in the whole context of India. So I, f I feel that people in India, uh, the constituents in India, the electorate, have a voice. I feel that we should have a strong vision for the future and my vision for the future is to have a greener, fairer future uh, for real hope and real change that will only come when we collectively decide for our common good. Uh, we are destroying our water, we are destroying our rivers um, and it's a situation that we are in that we need to clearly come out of and that can only be a collective decision. Our collective conscience has to rise up uh, towards you know, extractive capitalism, uh, towards globalization and uh, extraction of resources that is taking place across the globe. So we need to kind of really think what we are doing to our planet.